I put this on Facebook. Welcome back to the Crazy Messy Blessings channel. I hope you are ready for a great video. So today I just want to share with you guys a little bit of our evening routine. It's going to mostly focus on my younger two kids, just the things that we do, but we are a family of eight and so I'm just going to show you a little bit of what happens in the evening after we have like our quiet time and then we, we after we have our dinner really. So after we have our dinner, um, we go to the park and then we get back and start getting ready for bed. So just a quick uh, thing. Oh my gosh. Just let's start the video. Come on. So we like going for a walk every day after dinner, especially if the weather's nice. We're enjoying our summer. So we go burn some energy and then we get back home and right away I get started making the tea that we usually have during our devotions. So it's either I make a big pitcher of tea or I make like some hot chocolate or something and it's pretty basic just you know cocoa powder, milk and um, like I use milk powder or like creamer and uh, some stevia. We've been using stevia lately which is really good because it's still sweet but it's natural and it's not as bad <laughs> as plain sugar. So I get my little guys to help me because they're always eager to mix or pour or whatnot. So that's usually what we do and uh, it's actually funny a friend of mine was doing this because before this using making a pitcher of tea we used to actually do individual tea bags which as you can imagine for six kids plus myself it's a lot of tea bags so we just use um, either uh, our t like a tiger tea blend which is like a herbal black tea and um, we just mix that in together in a pitcher and it's it's potent enough for everyone to have their flavor so I usually just leave the cups on the counter for my older kids to come and grab once they're done their showers and I like to keep everything clean after dinner so there's not much to do the little ones grab their ice cubes put it in their tea and we head upstairs to take their bath okay, or shower go. and of course they can't help but start drinking some before we get up there so usually on our way up I if I'm still tidying something up I'll just tell them to head to the bathroom and start you know getting undressed and getting ready and right now since they're both two and three and a half almost four they just take a shower together after their shower I get them to start brushing their teeth and the way I brush their teeth is I start for them and then I let them kind of finish up so they get practice doing it on their own. Your turn. So you're probably wondering why I'm getting them to spit in the toilet instead of getting them to get a stool and spit in the sink. There's actually a method to my madness and um, I wouldn't say that I have a phobia but I really have a problem when people have like the sick bug and I mean it's crazy having six kids and when they're sick so part of my coaching and training is to teach them to spit in the toilet so that when they are sick they have been used to doing that so they know exactly where to go. So maybe you might want to try it. It is helpful. <laughs> so after we finish up brushing our teeth, we head on to my bedroom lately because that's where I usually have a pile of their laundry that I am working on. So if it's there, like I just finished that load the other the night before, so they help carry it over and then I get them changed. Like, I mean, there's no point guilt getting clothes that's already folded instead of just putting on clothes that's already there. Like, 
Something that I do with them sometimes is if I already have like a batch of laundry that I haven't gotten to that's theirs, I'll just go through it and I'll pick out something that's decent for them to wear the next day and then they already have their clothes on. I've been doing this from the time my kids were like younger. So pajamas, like we don't really have pajamas. Our pajamas consist of sometimes clothes that we like that might have a little stain on it or something that is like worn out or it's like not the it's like a button's missing or something like that I should sew the button on but anyway um those are the things that we kind of use for pajamas or something that might be a little too short those are the things that we use instead of like going and buying specific pajamas so like the pajamas that he you'll see my four-year-old almost four-year-old wearing those were handed down from you know like one of my older boys so we don't really do pajamas and like I said if I have a pile of laundry that is there I'm not going to go into the cupboard and get a specific pajama to put on them when that's just making myself have more work to do and hello who does that so as we continue with our evening routine they sit down on my bed with a book for a bit and until I can get all the rest of the kids together for our devotions and if then I give them the tablet for a little while to maybe watch something. So we usually listen to a podcast. Welcome to the Daily Radio Bible for Kids. The day is July the 18th. My name is Hunter and we are reading through the Bible. That's something we do. So we listen to that podcast as we get everybody in the room. I usually just get in bed and by that time, uh, my youngest one wants to nurse. So he still nurses and we just listen to it. We listen to the proverb of the day. And when we're done that, we pray. And so when we're listening to it, there's a lot of shenanigans that go on. Like, I mean, people, kids are up, down, all over and it is the end of the day, so I'm at pretty much like my level. I just want everyone to sit quietly, but I don't even mind if they're like bouncing on the ball or their feet are like twitching, they're rolling. The things that I don't like are rude comments or, you know, just fit too much fidgeting. But we try to keep that to a minimum. And after, this is one of my favorite parts, everyone comes and gives me a hug and a kiss and says good night and if I have any last instructions I'll give it to them at this point or you know if I just wanted to talk to them about something that happened during the day or like clarify certain things like I'm talking to my son here about something that just went on and he was a bit upset about something so this is a time that I have those moments with them and then they go upstairs to the room and I'm with my younger two I usually send my three and a half year old to his room as well and he just lays there with his sister they might watch something or listen to something and then I just have my two-year-old with me and he lays down he nurses and he falls asleep sometimes my three and a half year old needs to come into the bed for a bit he might come in but or sometimes I might need to go over there and like tuck him in he's pretty self-sufficient mm -hmm these days so I just kind of let him do his thing he's in there with his sister so you know if they are reading or they're you know coloring or whatever it's I don't really have a set thing that I expect them to do like put your head on your pillow close your eyes go to sleep right now but I do monitor to make sure that they're not like playing any games or whatever I might give them my tablet to like watch a bible story or something before they go to sleep or play some music and they usually just fall asleep and that's what we do here. I mean, for waking up, the main thing is to get them on a proper routine where they're not waking up super, super late, which we do that sometimes. It is life. But what I do is just wake them up. Instead of trying to work on the bedtime, I work on the morning routine. So we just wake up at a certain time and then they're not liable to stay up super late in the night because they're just tired. And so waking them up early in the morning or early-ish in the morning, like basically not letting them sleep in until they're not tired anymore. So waking them up when you want them to wake up and also 
tiring them out. Like we go for two walks during the day and other activities are going on mentally and physically. So it kind of tires them out. And that is what I do to help them to go to sleep and help me have a good sleep. And that is what we do in our house. Any comments? I would love to hear from you. Enjoy and I'll see you.